Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome in our next class of Microsoft Excel. Today we'll learn about the data manipulations, uh, common data functions, and uh, some of the basic Excel formulas. Let's make it just a little bit revision from our previous class that we have learned that what are these? These are the cell. As you know, the name is written over here. It is C5 or it is G6 J6 it is K8 because these are these are the columns like A B C D E F and so on these are the columns 1 2 3 4 5 6 these are the rows so we just need to understand that every cell is in a particular column as in a particular row <clears throat> this column uh, this cell is in the column of H in the row of 11 so here is the name H11 okay now let's come to our next topic and we will just uh, added a class here I select the multiple click the merge in center and I will take rotate Um, the fifth class okay. I make a bigger font like Times New Roman and I just make the size bigger like Aldech FS I will create the size of 16 okay now just I'll do in the middle alignment. Okay. So here I wrote serial. Here I wrote the name. And here I wrote the marks. Okay. Uh, let me make it a little bit bigger because the name must contain the more space. Serial number one <coughs> name is Ellie. Serial number two name Asad. Serial number three name Omar. Serial number four name Azi. Serial number five name Asher and the six <coughs> name Kazim seven <coughs> name Hamid eight well name it Asim and nine can just name it as uh, Osama the chin I'll name it as Nasser okay I got the simple names and the simple class follows these are these are the 10 students in the fifth class I name it and now I'm going to give them the marks I'm going to give them the marks out of 100 okay here I wrote the total is 100 okay I want to just uh, uh, up to there I want to wrote the 100 I just click and drag over to here and it, it is 100 now I'll just make a, a fake numbers uh, to them just for the examples uh, like he got 78 he got 52 he got 67 he got 92 or 47 or 65 or 96 or 85 or 49 and 75 
okay so here I have the result all the boys have the different numbers all the boys got the different marks and now I have a task I have a task that what is, uh, who is the maximum who has the maximum marks the maximum marks I have I just wrote them here I guess is equal to max and I just give them the range I'll select the range from the C C4 you know the 78 it, the marks are starting from here marks are starting from here C4 to C13 hit enter I have maximum 96 marks okay um, just misplace the formula and delete it from here it is very simple manipulation that I got the maximum marks I got the minimum marks I will just get the minimum marks I get the average average of the class okay so once again I wrote max okay from the C4 to C13 hit enter I get the maximum that is 96 we have another formula for the minimum that I want to get the minimum marks that who that what is the minimum digit of this class so once again I will restore the C4 colon C13 this is close hit enter so I have the 47 it is the lowest number in our series you get it here is the formula bar you will see that is equal to max and we will get the range that we have another we have another way if I enter the you have written the is equal to max I'll just manually click and drag up to the range I'll manually click that and drag to the range that that which the range I want to select that okay now hit enter you get that 96 and for the minimum it once again if I don't want to go manually or just don't want to uh, enter the numbers that the columns I just go to manually and click and drag the series hit enter you get the 47 okay now I want to get the average of this class so I will wrote the average and start from here to the end enter the average is 70.6 okay hope you all get that that I get the maximum number I get the minimum number I get the average average of this number okay maximum minimum and average get it so this is the this is the very common uh, the maximum and the minimum and the average range manipulation so it is very simple and uh, inshallah in the next video we will we'll make a complete result card and we'll apply the formulas all the formulas that we need and we'll apply the maximum manipulations and we'll get the data of the students with the new formulas to manipulate and how to handle the data sets or the mathematics or mathematical formulas in it we'll learn in our next video inshallah until then Allah Hafiz